Hello, Soul Tribe. Mwah. Love you guys so very much. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today we're going to go over method to reprogram your subconscious mind. This is very important when it comes to your spiritual path because your all of your habits and addictions and negative things that you do in your life are mostly because your subconscious mind has been programmed. We in society have been brainwashed for our entire lives, basically, um, and they have pretty much bred the divinity out of us. They have done so many things, including fluoridating the water, spraying the sky with uh, aluminum, zirconium, strontium, different forms of sulfuric acid to block out the sun and block our connection to the sun with this Operation Solar Shield through Harvard. And they, now they finally admit that they're spraying the sky with chemicals and stuff where people were saying that for years about the chemtrails, but now they admit to it and they're doing it through Harvard University. And uh, David Keith is the one running the program. Um, and actually, um, what's his name? Bill Gates is uh, funding and helps support the blocking of the sun. But And also MK Ultra Mind Control when the Nazis came over and took over NASA and convinced everybody that the world was round. We've, we've been completely programmed and, and they literally bred the uh, and, and controlled our kundalini energy and blocked it. And with alcohol, that kills the sacred secretion. Uh, sexual stuff where you're spilling your seed everywhere, that's a way that it's definitely not going to, um, it's going to ruin your sacred secretion. Um, but we're going to go over just, okay, how do you prog uh, program the subconscious mind? Because it's not as easy as just what you think in your conscious mind. Always remember this. This is the most important phrase out of it all. The subconscious mind is a symbol-based operating system. See, the ancients knew this. The Aztecs, the Egyptians, the Sumerians, all of their languages are like pictographs. They're actually like pictures that represent something. And in all the ancient civilizations, you had all the uh, serpent veneration, which is connected to our kundalini energy, our inner divinity. But the methods that we're going to use to reprogram it are symbols, repetition, and trauma. So repetition is something like uh, doing an affirmation over and over and over. Um, and the trauma is like any type of trauma, emotional trauma, physical trauma, anything like that is a way that you can actually reprogram the mind. So when you're actually reprogramming the subconscious mind, you need to get your brain waves to be different from the beta waves that we normally are in our waking consciousness. We need to um, at least get to an alpha wave. So you need to at least get into a meditative state before you can reprogram the subconscious mind or program the subconscious mind. And in order to do this, we want to, to do a couple of different things to actually help us get into this uh, altered state of consciousness. So the way that I do it is uh, theta and gamma is also a, brings a much deeper brain state that you can go much further after you get past alpha. But um, the way that I do this in order to get my brain into the alpha state as quickly as possible, or even the theta, um, but I'll start out with just telling you the alpha waves, and you can get deeper into meditation and, and move on to gamma and theta later on. But at least start out with the alpha waves. So I start out with alpha wave binaural beats. So while I'm doing the ritual, I will um, do turn on an alpha wave binaural beat also sometimes i will take headphones and uh will just like barely have them over my ear with isochronic tones that are alpha wave and these isochronic tones are much more like a, a choppy sound it's like and it helps to to uh it goes from a certain speed down to a certain speed to lower the uh frequency of the brain waves 
So I'll do that. I'll have the alpha wave. I'll have the um, the alpha wave isochronics too sometimes. Then also you want to meditate when you're doing this ritual. You want to get yourself into an altered state of consciousness. One of the easiest ways that you can actually do this is by um, candle gazing for like 30 minutes. So start out... Um, you want to give yourself, if uh, you're not working with a spirit or something like that, you're just trying to reprogram the subconscious mind, you need to create a mantra, something you can chant over and over again. Um, the the trauma, I mean, the, uh, the mantra does not have to be um, in English. You can change it to a different language, like take your phrase of whatever your intentions is and... Uh, you know, make a phrase out of it in a different language or something to kind of help the subconscious to, um, or your conscious mind not to attach to it and to allow the subconscious to attach to it. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to have, I've created a sigil. If you haven't, uh, if you don't know what sigils are, go back a couple videos on the channel and I broke down what sigils were. Um, how to use sigils that are already created with angels, demons, deities, and, and such. And then also how to create your own sigils in multiple different forms. Um, in the letter form where you write out the, the phrase and mark off all vowels and all double letters. And then create a symbol out of that. And also out of the witch's wheel sigil uh, creator. Um, but you create a mantra for it. You create a... Uh, for, and the mantras for the repetition part... And to get you into a trance, repeating that over and over and over so that you get yourself into a, a, a altered state of consciousness. You have already created the sigil. So you have the sigil in front of you. You have the candle in front of you. And um, you can even write out uh, your intentions. Um, let me see. There's a, like, the, I think it's called the Theban or Theban, uh, different language thing this one's actually from the grimoire of the demons of magic by gordon winterfield so if you want to write a petition you can write out a petition but don't write it in the english language you want to write it in something that has more that's like symbols of it so take something like this and write out your intentions um in this letter then you got your your petition your uh, sigil, you got your mantra that you're going to be chanting, and you got all your uh, the binaural beats and isochronic tones on alpha tones at least, alpha waves. And you, when you actually start this ritual, you're going to make sure you don't have anybody there to disturb you or anything like that. And you're going to, you know, turn out the lights, get your candle, get your sigil, set it in front of you. And you want to scry into the flame of that candle. Don't just look at the flame, like scry deeply into it. And after like 15 to 20, maybe even 30 minutes, you're going to notice a major shift in your consciousness. You're going to notice that you get into like a meditative like state. When I do, I always, my ear starts ringing much louder. Um, I feel like that almost drowsy feeling, like you're almost about to fall asleep, like a naughty type feeling. And... Um, that's usually when I'm, I, I can just feel it. I feel my brainwaves switch. And as soon as I do that, I know I'm getting into there. Once you get that far and you're like 15, 20 minutes in and you're, um, I would wait till about 15 minutes in to start chanting. So you're scrying for 15 to 20 minutes into the flame. You start to chant and you continue that for a good 10 minutes or so you'll feel yourself start to get into like a trance -like state when you start repeating it over and over and over and then at the very end you want to um and this is this is optional but you know it's very powerful so you know make your mind up whether or not you're comfortable enough to work with blood magic but your blood is actually your spiritual currency that is your i mean it's very unique to you you are the only person with your DNA. So, you know, it's um, it's like your spiritual currency. It's the direct, and your, uh, your blood is also filled with iron, which iron is able to be magnetized. So you're trying to manifest things in your life, you know, you're... Um, then you're wanting to use the blood. That's, the, that's very, very powerful. So... 
once you feel your state, you've done all that, you've got yourself into an altered state of consciousness, you got your petition over here laid out beside you, you um, got your uh, mantra chanting, you've got the sigil in front of you, the very last thing that you're going to do to kick it over and to get yourself into a much deeper state like uh, theta or gamma, you prick your finger with a needle and just take a drop or two of the blood and put it on the sigil and then on the petition. So this is connecting your divine energy to these things. So basically that's pretty much it. Um... Then you, you finish up your ritual. Um, like they say with magic, finish it and forget it. Just don't think about it and watch how quickly that these things manifest in your life that you're attempting to manifest or banish whatever you're trying to do. If you're getting rid of things, then it's the same as if you're trying to manifest things. You just put your intentions, you know, within the petition, create the sigil and mantra. Um, and use the blood pricking your finger as the trauma. That's uh, So you got the repetition with the mantra, the sigil with the symbols, and the petition with the symbols, and then you prick your finger, which causes trauma. Um, if you're uncomfortable with blood magic, you could also do something like um, smacking your leg or smacking your face or something in order to, to bring like a trauma-like uh, state. Um, I just definitely prefer using the blood for sure. Um, okay, um, uh, let's see, one other thing, L-theanine, the supplement, actually promotes the healthy production of alpha waves, it really helps with meditation, and it helps with, uh, getting into these transcendent states of consciousness to where you're actually able to reprogram the deepest recesses of your subconscious mind. Um, I think that's pretty much about it, but, uh... Definitely, you can use this method with many different things. You can use this method with working with angels or demons or deities and just use their symbol, their chant, and your own uh, petition um, and then prick your finger and, you know, give the blood as an offering. Um, but yeah, I think that's just about it. Um, this is a method to reprogram your subconscious mind and this works wonders. I've used this method many times and... My life has completely transformed since I started, like, dedicating my life to practicing magic. Um, you know, I started uh, studying magic back when I was 14, so that was 21 years ago. And, uh, you know, I didn't take it seriously younger in my life, but about seven or eight years ago, um, let's see, 2012, yeah, eight years ago, um, I had a massive spiritual awakening, and uh, my entire life's changed since then, and magic is one of the practices that 100% helped me change my life and helped me get rid of some severe addictions and uh, a lot of just negativity and trauma that I had uh, built up and, and you know, I, I was ignoring my shadow. And this stuff really just helped me transform myself into the highest version of myself. And, you know, I understand I'm a divine being now, a, a immortal spiritual being living a temporary human experience. And, um, yeah, that's about it, you guys. I love you all. I hope this helps everyone. Uh, this is a very powerful technique. Um, just always remember, the language of the subconscious mind is symbols. And um, the three main methods of reprogramming the subconscious are through symbols, uh, repetition, and trauma. I love you all. Peace and unity.